And that's why I'm saying to you, we have to be careful of the traps that we try to set. Because that very trap may be the trap that catches us. So you can scheme all day. You can plot all day. You can try to undermine all day. But what God has for someone, there's nothing you can do to stop it. It may take longer than the person would like it to. It may take longer than the person is anticipating. But what God has for you, no plot, no scheme, no plan can stop it from happening. And a lot of times, God allows these things to manifest himself. Now let's see how God raises us up and compare it to him. And then we go back to, th to chapter 3. So Mordecai is given a secret about two of the king's Enoch's who want to try to kill a king. So Mordecai tells it to Esther. Esther tells it to the God. The gods give it to the king and they discover the plot and the king survives and the king knows that it's Mordecai who did it and so the king writes it in the chronicles and as would have it Haman really had nothing to do with it he benefits from Mordecai's righteousness he benefits from Mordecai's favor and Mordecai don't receive immediate gratification. He don't receive immediate acknowledgement. But God knows his heart. God sees all things. God knows what Mordecai did. And God has a plan that supersedes Odyssey's plan, the king of Persia, and Haman's plan. So what I'm trying to get you to understand is that don't get caught in trying to get back at people. Allow people to be who and what they are. Thanks for being with us today. We want to remind you, if you need intercessory prayer, Bethesda's House of Prayer Prayer Ministry does its intercessory prayer every Friday at 12 p.m. We encourage you to participate. You can dial in at 1-563-999-1808. Join us and be filled by the Holy Spirit.